He said, I need this round as we head to the 12th. That's right. If you're a trainer in that corner, you know that anything can happen. He probably feels that uh, Jamal was ahead. He's winning the fight, but he knows he needs his last round just to put this, you know, the final stamp on it. He also said, don't run in and keep some head movement. Don't keep that head in one place. And he's doing a good job moving his head there. He just ducked and missed the left hook, left hand. What's impressed you, Joe, about Korbov? Well, just about everything. Number one is endurance. He hasn't been in the ring for a year and a half, basically. Um, he's in there with one of the great middleweights. Uh, oh! That's there it is. That's what he needed. Korbov was stunned by Charlo. Oh, big right by Charlo. Yep. These guys are great finishers, the Charlo brothers, and this is looks like he's going to knock this uh, Korobov out right here. He's got him on the run. He's got plenty of time. Two minutes. Korobov staggered. Well, this is what uh, Charlo needed to retain his title. He needed a big round here, and he's got one. He may be able to end the fight if he lands another good one. This is a situation where you got to start it off with the jab. You got to give him something to keep his eyes on. You got to confuse him and then come with the power punches. He's recovered pretty well. Both guys are tired right now. Both guys are digging deep. This is the last round. Charlo still has over a minute to close the show. So he's got time. He certainly looks like the fresher of the two fighters. <laughs> well, after those punches, yeah. But uh, again, Korobov has got his senses uh, about him right now, so he's he's got his eye on Charlo, and he's trying to avoid getting hit with the big shot again. But I don't know. Charlo zeroing in on him. Under a minute remaining. Charlo needs to come with that left hook again because it worked from the first time. He needs to do it again. I would be telling him to a right hand left hook. And you'd but be first, right. But first, everything has to start with the jab. You got to keep him confused. Yeah, you're right, because he, he fell short there with the right hand left hook without the jab. You're right. And got flipped with a little left hand himself, but there's a good counter left hand coming back. Down to 20 seconds remaining. <laughs> oh, oh right, right by Trello. <laughs> wow. Korobov's a strong man. He's taking some hellacious shots here. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. We have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Larry Hazard Jr. scores about 119 to 108. Judges Steve Weisfeld and Max DeLuca both scored about 116 to 112. All three in favor of the winner. And still, the WBC interim middleweight world champion, Jamal Hitman Charlo. Brother, hey, twin, Mel, you be back, baby. That's your girl, you, you really won today. I love you. So Jamal telling his brother Jamal, you really won today. Jamal victorious now 28 and 0 maintains his title.